Hey guys, welcome back to Tea Town. I know it's been a long time since I made a video, but grab your cups because we're getting ready to spill some tea today. Today we are talking about Tana's MTV show because honey, what the fuck was that mess? Um, that shit was very bad for her. Honestly, I don't even know why she did a second season, seeing as the first season wasn't so great. But yeah, she decided to do a second season and it was worse. First, she started off with like her health issues and like this bitch was just like, I don't give a fuck if I live or die. Like, I don't care about my lung. I have asthma. <laughs> I mean, it's like, perhaps it's there's funny. that. It's not funny though, people die from asthma. Go kill me. I don't care at all. There's nothing you can say to make me care and I'm not gonna pretend to care. I... What is wrong with you? It's ha ha. Let me go roll up like 10 blondes to smoke even though I can't go one minute without coughing. And all my friends are just like, yeah, Tana sounds great. And then like the only person who took things seriously was Jordan, her manager, which is really weird because he does have other clients, but you'd really think he only managed just her and her friends because like he like had his office there. He's always with her, always has to babysit her. And yeah, you just really wouldn't think that he has other clients. And like, Trisha Page is one of his clients. Like, I know he is mentally fucked, bro, dealing with those two. But anyway, yeah, um, so he got her doctor's appointment. She gets there. She's also rude to the doctors. Is acting just like so crazy. Oh my god, can you take this off me? I can't do this. I'm sorry. Okay, man. Like, that hurts so bad. I can't. I'd literally rather have a cough. I kind of want to leave. Would you be mad if I just left? I would be beyond mad, yeah. So, like, immature. Her attitude towards Jordan this whole season was kind of crazy. They got in a lot of, like, fights and stuff. Like, she was really just disrespectful to him. She says off camera he acts a different way. I mean, like, we won't know because we don't see him off camera. But the show made her look really bad this season. Um, another part of the show that caused a lot of drama and backlash for her was when she invited Trevor out to the girls' night. Like, I just wanted to get up. Are you inviting Trevor? I don't know, should I? Um, I don't know if inviting Trevor to stuff where I know all of us are gonna get up is the right thing to do. I haven't, like, figured that out yet. She was just inviting him to be nice, and if he thought it wasn't something he could handle, he could have stayed home. I don't think that was her fault at all. Um, maybe he thought it would've been easier than it was, and it just wasn't. I feel like I'm in a cave. I feel like... No one's even having like a normal conversation. Yeah, they everyone's really talking are. over each other. And everything's just about like drinking no. right now, and I'm just like, yeah, I want to get up with everybody. But is that like, what is that gonna do for me? But the season finale, bro. Oh my god, that made her look so terrible. Like she went all the way to Vegas because she wanted to be there for Amari and she made it seem like it was the biggest deal that she had to be there was trying to push back her release date on her perfume just because she cares so much about Amari and he's her best ass friend just to then completely sleep through the surgery sleep through the time she was supposed to announce her perfume um when she finally woke up, she called Jordan like, I don't understand what the problem is. You know what happened last night. So now three hours uh, passed when we wanted the perfume to go live, and I still have not heard from Tana. Tana, you gotta be kidding me. Do you still wanna do this today? I mean, do you wanna say anything? Huh? Do you wanna say anything? Like anything about like why it's five and you're calling me right now? Uh, no. But you know exactly. But you know we had a launch today, right? Yeah, we didn't sleep like nightmares. I thought you were going to You thought I'd be fine with you sleeping through the launch of this? No, I mean like after what happened last night, I tried to get out of I was telling you I didn't want to do this now. I had all to say. When did you tell me you didn't want to do this now? That's a lie. That's a lie. Your lack of acknowledgement is astonishing. Yours too, though. Like, Tana, a, a simple apology is would be really good right now. Oh, okay, then I'm sorry. 
Okay, what are you sorry for? Being super traumatized and like having nightmares and sleeping all day from it. You're so insensitive, it's crazy. Well, you know who, like, do you know who else was there? Amari and the entire crew? I process things differently. I, you know, I've like almost died a lot in my life. Like I don't really like, like thinking about it. Like that helping me. Super bad PTSD from it, you super know that. Which, okay, that, that would have shook someone, but still, like Amari got up, he went, he got to his surgery, his mom got up, went to his surgery. She really wouldn't have even had to do much there, except for sit in the waiting room, wait for him to get done, and then take care of him when he came out. Like, she could have napped in the waiting room or something if she was so tired. And then, like, even just her own launch, her own perfume launch, she just slept through. And, like, I, like her friends try to back her up and say, oh, she's so stressed and just so tired and drained. But, like, it's been literally like this since she's been a YouTuber. Probably even before. Like, I know they're just trying to be good friends and, like, have her back. But it doesn't work when she's always been like this because that's just Tana at this point. And then she made her own video on her own YouTube channel talking about how MTV just played all the worst parts they could of her. And it's not really like that. They were just taking clips of, like, they were taking 20-minute clips out of, like, 72 hours of filming for an episode and just leaving in all the worst parts. Which, if that is true, that does suck, but those bad parts that they left in were pretty goddamn bad. Anyway, this is no shade towards Tana. I really hope it is what she said it is, that it's just MTV capturing her worst moments out of the day. Um, I still think her own channel's very entertaining to watch. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you next time.